Welcome to Oikos by Knife. Today, we are excited to introduce you to one of our popular marketplace applications, Uptime Kuma. This app is a versatile monitoring tool known for its user-friendly setup. With this tool, you can effortlessly monitor a variety of services, including websites, DNS servers, game servers, and many more. Whether you want to ensure everything is running smoothly or receive alerts when something goes down, Uptime Kuma has got you covered. Now, let's deploy Uptime Kuma directly from our marketplace. Click on Marketplace in the sidebar. The first app on the list is Uptime Kuma. Hover over Uptime Kuma and then click on Deploy. This initiates the deployment process and the application is currently deploying in the default region. After deployment, a global URL with the domain name is generated. You need to wait for 90 seconds to allow the DNS to resolve before accessing the app. I have waited for 90 seconds. Now, let's open the app. Now, let's create new username and password. Click on Create. Now, let's monitor a website. Click on Add New Monitor. Monitor type will be HTTPS. Give it any friendly name. For URL, I am using Knife Documentation website. Next, the heartbeat interval is an essential parameter for monitoring your website effectively. In this case, it's set to 60 seconds, indicating that Uptime Kuma will perform checks on the specified website every minute. The retries parameter determines how many times Uptime Kuma will attempt to check a website before marking it as down. I'm changing the heartbeat retry interval to 20 seconds. This represents the amount of time Uptime Kuma will wait between re-attempted pings to your machine after an initial failed ping. Let's keep the request timeout at its default value of 48 seconds. Next, resend notification. If website is down for X number of time, send a notification. Let's keep it at the default value of zero. Advanced setting. If your certificate's going to expire, ticking the certificate expire notification, it will notify you. Enabling Ignore TLS SSL, it will monitor specified sites even with certificate issues. Upside down, if you enable this which means your server down then it is up. Maximum redirects, number of times, allowed to redirect before considering it is down. In Uptime Kuma, you can customize the accepted status codes for determining if a website is up. By default, codes in the range 200 to 299 indicate a live website, and we're keeping this configuration unchanged. Scroll up now. In the HTTP option, you have control over HTTP settings. You can modify the HTTP method to get, post, put, patch, delete, or head. For now, let's keep them at their default settings. Now, click on Save. Now, you'll be able to monitor the status of your website, whether it's up or down. Let's change the appearance. I prefer dark mode. Go to Settings. Click on Appearance. Click on Dark Mode. Dark Mode got enabled. Now let's set up Slack notification. Click on Notification. Set up Notification. In the Notification type, you can choose from various applications for receiving notifications. I'm using Slack. For me, Slack is the better choice. Now, you need to provide the webhook URL for Slack integration. Let's create a new webhook URL. Click on the provided link for the Slack webhook below. Scroll down. Click on Create Your Slack App. Select from scratch. Provide an appropriate app name. Select your workspace. Click on Create App. Scroll down. Click on Incoming Webhook. Here, enable Incoming Webhook. Scroll down. Click on Add New Webhook to Workspace. Select your channel here. I'm going with a random channel name. Next, click on Allow. 
Scroll down. Here, copy this URL. Now, let me check my Slack workspace to see if the new app has been integrated or not. Here, you can see it says added integration to this channel, Uptime Kuma. This confirms the successful integration of the webhook. Let's head back to Uptime Kuma. Let's close this tab. I am changing the name to Slack Alert. Paste the webhook URL here. Next, enter the username. Icon emoji. Below is a link where you can copy the emoji and paste it here. I'm skipping this step. Here, you can give a channel name. Next, enable this notify channel. This will trigger a desktop or mobile notification for all members of the channel, whether their availability is set to active or away. Next, default enabled. Enabling this, notification will be enabled by default for new monitors. You can still disable the notification separately for each monitor. Next, enable this to apply to all existing monitors. Now, let's test this. Click on test. This will send a test message to your channel. Let's head back to Slack. Here, you can see that the test message has been received. Verification is done. Now, let's head back to Uptime Kuma and save this configurations. Now, whenever your website goes down, you will receive notifications in Slack. In conclusion, if you're in search of an efficient application to monitor your website, Uptime Kuma stands out as an excellent choice. Its user-friendly interface, customizable monitoring parameters, and seamless integration with platforms like Slack make it a reliable solution. Setting up monitors is a breeze, ensuring you stay well-informed about your website's status and response times. For assistance in setting up or any inquiries, feel free to reach out to us. All the necessary information is available in the descriptions below. Thank you for watching.